Welcome to Life on Maui. I'm your host, Stephen Freed. We're coming to you at the golden hour of day from Wailea. And my guest for today is Catherine Balknight, filmmaker of Hawaii, a voice for sovereignty, a seven time award winning documentary. Welcome to the show, Catherine. Thank you, Steve. It's great to be here. And we talked about this two years ago at the Maui Film Festival on the sand, right down there in Wailea. And we've wanted to do this show for two years, and finally the timing has come. Yeah, I'm, I'm very honored to be here. Well, thank you, dear. And thank you for your work. I, you know, I really appreciate the work you're doing. And that's why I wanted to do this show while you're on this brief time on Maui. Um, tell me, what is this film about? Hawaii, A Voice for Sovereignty, is about the culture of the Native Hawaiian people and how it relates to the land. They talk about their issues and they talk about the resolutions that they will have for the future and uh, the fact that because they are the host culture here, they want people to know that, that sovereignty is an important thing for them, this, the right to have a sovereign life. And what does that mean? What does that mean to have a sovereign life? In the background here, I don't know if you can see it, we're right behind us is Koala, you're going to say the name, Ka'oholave, which is an upcoming film for you. We'll get to that later. But what does sovereignty mean? Um, sovereignty has many meanings, but for the overall general meaning of the people that I spoke to in Hawaii, it is about um, their rights to have water rights, their rights to have access to the land, to grow their own food, to be able to uh, have a financial situation that allows them to live here. And the things that they're asking are, are those types of things to, to keep their lives sovereign so that, it, so that they can live here and their children can live here, they can be healthy, and they can practice their culture. Really, it's, it's basically, they don't want change in their culture, they just want to remain sovereign, as most of us do. Yeah, of course, there, there's no question about that. So, how do you see this as, it, I, I know this is a long answer probably, but here we are, this is the 50th state. A lot of people consider this home, as do I. How do you see that coexisting? Um, I see it personally. Um, it, that is a very hard question for me to answer. It's a very hard question for me to answer, but um, I think that it's possible to coexist uh, together because the, the Native Hawaiian people are a nation, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what they want to do. They want to have their nation back and their kingdom law for the most part. So it can work together, um, not exactly like Native Americans in Hawaii, and I'm sorry, like Native Americans in America, but you know there is a, a similarity because mm -hmm. the Native Americans have their own uh, land, mm -hmm. they have uh, their own laws, and you know, the two really don't clash that much. Mm -hmm. and, and why have you uh, taken the path of a social media and a film festival route to uh, promote this uh, film? Uh, I believe that this film is historic, mm. and I did not want it to be a um, a fast-paced um, win of you know a couple of um, film festivals and and done. I want it to be a part of their culture and a part of many indigenous cultures, so that it will last for a long time and become an educational film as well. So it's saturated 
within mm. cultures as opposed to being a big hit and done. So we've taken it to film festivals throughout the United States from East Coast to West Coast. It's gone throughout uh, film festivals in New Zealand and uh, it opened at the, uh, the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. It's been shown on the grounds of the palace here on, in Honolulu. Wow. And wow. Uh, at the United Nations twice, once in Geneva and recently in New York City. So many different people from different parts of the world are seeing it and it's becoming a movement for taking uh, notice of how we care for the land mm. and our environment and how we approach each other and how we give respect to each other and especially the host cultures. Absolutely, absolutely. And what, what have you learned as a documentary filmmaker doing this film and now looking ahead to the film about, what's the name of that island behind us? It's Ka. Or, or lobby. Okay. So what have you learned as a documentary filmmaker in this whole process? Um, one of the main things is that the people have the story and to be a tool for the people with the story, with the truth, that has become my, um, my kuleana or my, my responsibility of uh, approaching the people and also of telling the story through the voice of the people. And how can people contact you? Do you have a website? Uh, and also, how can people start looking for where this movie might be? Um, well, Do you have a website? My website is www.hawaiiavoiceforsovereignty.com uh, www.hawaiiavoiceforsovereignty.com <laughs> And uh, we hope that people will look at the website and, and visit us on Facebook, also Hawaii A Voice for Sovereignty on Facebook, and let us know if there's places, if there's theaters, if there's uh, centers that will support a screening, and uh, let us know, and we'll be there. And we also have Q&A after our screenings. Right now, we're uh, screening at the um, at the uh, Akaku at the Akaku Akaku uh, station TV station here in Maui on this Saturday. And of course, some of you will be seeing this on your TV through Akaku. So it's events like that that are um, they're public reach it, reach out to the public events um, so that people can share the information. And, and help us get the voice of the, of the Hawaiian people out. Wonderful. And sorry for any wind noise. It is windy here. This golden hour of sunset, it's absolutely beautiful here. You're wearing a nice color to match some of the tones in the sunset. Um, how can communities outreach through this film? Well, besides um, bringing us in, to, to show the film, uh, they can also order the film and uh, show it in their neighborhood. Oh, good. Yeah, show it in their neighborhood, show it in their communities, uh, their churches, their uh, clubs, whatever. With Even I've had people showing it at universities, a lot of that, especially in New Zealand. And, uh, you know, even with your own families, you know, during family events, you could have uh, the, it's 93 minutes, and you could have a, a screening, a special screening of Hawaii Voice for Sunday, and you can get the, the DVD on the website. Wonderful. So, again, that's hawaiiavoiceforsovereignty.com, and the same on Facebook, Hawaii A Voice for Sovereignty. So... You know, just sitting here in this beautiful spot, perfect blue sky, sun setting, Ka'o'o'olave behind us, and um, that's going to be an upcoming film she's going to work on about that island, which is, just briefly, it, it, was a, it was a navigational center for the Hawaiians, right? Right, yeah, for, uh, since time 
began for the for the, uh, the the people of the Pacific, and uh, there are very special um, assets about this island, and uh, the the native Hawaiians had learned how to use this island for special navigational uh, clues and and ways of navigating throughout the Pacific, and. Uh, of course, it was used as a bombing range by the United States uh, after Pearl Harbor, um, after the attack of Pearl Harbor, and so it was basically destroyed. And uh, there were nine people that went out to Kaho Olavi, and they protested, and they actually got the island back. It was given back by uh, George Bush. Wonderful. And uh, now they're cleaning it up and uh, trying to revive it. Wonderful, wonderful. And you're going to be coming out with a film about this, so keep your eyes open for that as well. And uh, again, very grateful that we could have a chance to do this interview. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure to meet you and be with you in this time. So thank you for joining us for this episode of Life on Maui, live from Wailea, Maui, Hawaii. Very grateful that you could watch, follow up, go to the websites. This is, you know, it's important. So hope you enjoyed this show as much as I did. And until next time, aloha. crazy